Oh, you smoked him. So what happened to the CZ Model 600? We got in that CZ Model 600 in the Alpha version in 224 Valkyrie. But as you recall, when this was released, everybody was talking about it. We were all discussing it. And then the recall came. I did a video, which I'll link below in the information, where I gave my thoughts on the recall, where they were going to permanently affix the barrels, which took away one of the biggest pros about the 600, being able to swap barrels and cartridges with the bolt head. So here's our range report on the Valkyrie that we got. And that's the ammo we use. We'll go through individually. Now remember, one in seven twist on this. You can see the 90 grain compared to the 60 grain. That's the ammo we used. And again, it'll be individual right here. First off, Federal Premium 90 grain. Actually did quite well. The first shot was a, the first cold bore shot and that's a 0.663 MOA. That's five shot. Now I do not have a lot of ammo on the other one, so I only did three shots. This is the Prairie Enemy with the 69 grain Blitz King, 0.504 MOA. Again, these are all at 100 yards. And this ammo I wish would become available again, or at least the projectiles. Lastly is the Nasser Ballistic Tip, 60 grain loaded by Federal. You can see that's a 0 0.460. Now I'm using the Vortex Strike Eagle 5 to 25 optic on this, which really does well. So let's get to the hunt report and we're going to go ahead and have the warning right here and go through rock check shooting at different ranges. Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. I'm going to start with the closer shots. See that one taken right there. 341 yards. Okay. A little low. Now, listen to me correct. I go a tad higher. It's a tad. Right there. Just killed it. Valkyrie really does extend 24 ranges Valkyrie hit. when it comes to varmint type bullets. It's really nice to have. 322. Boom. Thumped him. Now we're extending it out a little bit. Here's 365 yards. It's windy. Seventy-five. Oh. I think that got him. Yep. That was Pete that hit that. So here's mine at 375, and I'm going to have the wind come back in the audio. You can hear that. So a lot of people say, oh, you don't shoot in the wind. Yes, we do. I just drop it in the audio so you don't have to listen to it. So here's the shot. I'm shooting on this. I actually miss on this one. Correct. myself based on what Pete told me as well as what I saw through the optic and we're shooting like down to a canyon so the wind's kind of swirling but we had that down pat here's the next shot oh you smoked him <laughs> where was that hold what, what that did you was uh, one and three quarter mil one and three quarter mil yep and let's talk about, as the pictures are going through, the CZ Model 600 Alpha and the Model 600 in general. I feel like CZ, who used to be a premier rifle company, dropped the ball with the 600. Not because of the build quality or anything like that. This rifle is extremely accurate. I just feel they came out with something that in the beginning, with the switchable barrels and bolt heads, was going to be fantastic. By them neutering that, this has just become another rifle out there. I'm glad I got this in 224 Valkyrie, but I have a CZ 527 that I converted to that. So you decide. Let me know what you think below. Um, also head over to our site. There's some links to other videos linked to our site. And please subscribe, follow, share, etc. Help us beat the YouTube algorithm. Thanks, and we'll see you over at Varmer.com.